This is Bracket Week, presented by Kubota. Full house in Reno, rivalry game, and the final game of the regular season in what has been the greatest season in Mountain West history. 12 and five UNLV, 12 and five Nevada. Winner of this game is the two seed in Vegas. Loser of this game, the four seed. A lot on the line, starting lineups. Great guard play, and it's brought to you by Kubota. Didon Thomas, the fabulous freshman, and Luis Rodriguez in the backcourt for UNLV. Jared Lucas is red hot. He's a shooter. And Keenan Blackshear is one of the toughest matchups. A tall point guard. Rich Waltz, Dan Dickow, full house. Here we go. What kind of tempo? The game should be up and down for the most part. Nevada tremendous defensively as far as making you work for everything, but UNLV has a great way to score both inside and out with Thomas as well as Caleb Boone on the interior. They played a tight game in Las Vegas the first time they met. Nevada with a late run in that to win the game. This is Lucas. That's a three. Terrific start for Nevada. This crowd is ready to go. Unfortunately, they learned that Utah State won an outright title. That doesn't matter, though, because they are excited. Inside, the Boone brothers big for the running Rebels. Caleb and Keelan. Keelan missed that three. And a 3-0 start for the Nevada Wolfpack. And their climb has been an impressive one. They've won nine of their last ten and six in a row. UNLV has won 10 of their last 11 and five in a row. Lucas trying to free himself on the baseline. Shooter. A tremendous job reading. Boone goes on the inside of the screen, read it, pop back to the baseline with a flare, catch and shoot. That's really an area that he's improved on this year is reading screens. Keelan Boone, who's been so big, the senior, the transfer, Oklahoma State and Pacific. And UNLV is on the board. Entry down low. Nice dump pass in. KJ Himes, who doesn't play a lot as a starter, just 16 minutes a game. It doesn't give you much offense. He's more of a defensive minded five, but offense he gives you on that low block and screen and roll or dive opportunities is a bonus. Blackshear in transition. He and Trey Coleman, two of the best defensive players in this conference. Balls out of bounds. Kevin Kruger in his third year as the Runner Rebels at 19 and 10 and 12 and 5. They got off to a, a slow start and they did not have Keelan Boone for some key early games. But once he joined the team, they got rolling. Found out hours before they played Creighton while Creighton was ranked number eight. They go in and win that game. Shows you how important it is to have your full roster. They didn't have it early. It took them a while to get clicking, but they have been special as of late, winning 10 of their last 11. Shot clock down. Boone again. Himes. Lucas is in his first two. And a foul on the rebound. Steve Alford really likes this team. They've matured from last year. They got to the NCAA tournament last year, lost in the first four. And the Wolfpack seemingly on the verge of another NCAA tournament. They're number 34 in the Nets. Jerry Palm has them as a six seed. Oh, they limped in a season ago. Didn't play well down the stretch. But this roster and the guys who play the majority of the minutes and make decisions were on the team last year. They've never been in that position before outside of Lucas, who went to an Elite Eight at Oregon State. This team now has that experience, that maturity. They understand what it takes to win at this point of the season. Lucas is all savvy when it comes to scoring and getting to the free throw line. The Wolfpack get to the line an awful lot. Top 10 in free throws attempted in the country. Lucas a big part of that. He sees a couple go in early as that opening three as well as the jumper on the baseline. He is going to be aggressive to find opportunities. 
Shot fake, eye fake, gets the defense in the air, makes sure he gets that contact, gets the line. And this start does not look like a team that just went through a very emotional and lengthy senior night ceremony. Nevada has shaken that off and jumped to a 9-3 lead. A senior night, you never know what to expect from players that have the emotions going through, maybe the coaching staff trying to talk them through it, but a great response early from the Wolfpack. Good job by Himes. The big guards for the Wolfpack, great rebounders. Davidson can shoot the three. And Don Thomas was 17 when school started this year. Left early from high school, just three years. He's 18 now. You wouldn't know by the way he plays, the maturity, the poise, the IQ, the skill level. He has been a difference maker this year for Kevin Kruger. Keelan Boone is out of bounds. That's a turnover. Out of bounds. Wolfpack has the ball. So a 9-3 start for Nevada. Coleman, known for his defense. Davidson has really blossomed this year. Just a sophomore, calls for the ball. Double comes. Blackshear rotates. Lucas, shooter. Shooter is right. I don't think he's ever met a shot that he doesn't want to take. Gotta love the confidence that he plays with. UNLV does not have an answer for him right now. Keelan Boone, lob pass to his brother, Caleb, doubled, tripled, fouled. First whistle, Jared Lucas firing away. For those of you watching our free streaming coverage, it concludes after the commercial break. But we'll continue on CBS Sports Network. You can find us by going to cbssportsnetwork.com slash channel finder. Jared Lucas has 10 of those 12 points for Nevada's fast start in this rivalry game with so much on the line. Hi, everybody. Rich Waltz along with Dan Dickow. Utah State, what can you say? A three to win it, Darius Brown. They are the regular season champs. There's a ton on the line still to play for for these two schools. Yeah, they're both locked into either the two or the four seed. Boise State clearly as the three seed, Utah State the one, as you mentioned. But these two teams, whenever they lock up, they play with a ton of pride. This is a great atmosphere tonight in Reno. Arguably the two hottest teams in the hyper-competitive Mountain West right now. UNLV's won 10 of the last 11. Best conference stretch since Tark. The Wolfpack, nine of the last 10. Five quad one wins in that run. And they're the hottest shooting team from three right now. 48% and Jared Lucas keeping the beat with that goal. First possession of the game, catch and shoot three from deep. When he gets hot, he stays hot many times. And the winner of this game, as Thomas takes a baseline jumper and missed it, the winner of this game is the two seed in Las Vegas in the Mount West tournament starting on Thursday night in those quarterfinals. The loser is the four seed. Into the ball game is Hunter McIntosh, and he has been hot from three lately. That's a launch and a three, Trey Coleman. Goodness. What a start from the perimeter, but a great job of space in the floor, recognizing the double comes. UNLV likes to double regardless if it's a score or a non-score. Look across, see the skip. Wow, see the spin from Luis Rodriguez here. And he not only got a bucket, but he ping-ponged off a couple of <laughs> Nevada players. Watch this. Well, he is a physical player on both ends of the floor. Lucas couldn't cut him off. You mentioned ping-pong. Jared Lucas ping-pongs right into the lower leg of K.J. Himes. Hopefully he's all right. He provides a presence on the glass as well as rim protection for the Wolfpack. Not much of a scorer, but he understands his role and he does it well. Nevada has opened this game five of seven for the field. Three threes, two of eight 
is UNLV. They've hit just one three. Daniel Foster in the ball game, along with McIntosh, who scorched Boise for 26 points. A driving layup by Coleman. High arcing layup from Coleman. That was spectacular. And the lead balloons back to 12. Thomas driving. With hesitation and a bucket and a foul. Plays with such poise for a young freshman point guard. Coleman's bigger, stronger, has a ton of experience at the college level, but Dedon Thomas comes off the pick and roll, gets him on his hip, creates a little bit of contact, shields the ball to get it up off the glass. Chance of the three-point play. I don't think there's any way he's not freshman of the year in the Mountain West. Isaiah Cottrell in the game for UNLV. Thomas has the ability, as Caleb Boone sits down, at 6-1, not only to get inside, but score against the bigs. And a lot of it is his understanding of angles, and then he has a great pace to his game. For, for smaller guards, you've got to have, be great at changing speeds and changing directions. Nick Davidson, double comes. Looking for help. Great play there. Keelan Boone out of bounds. Stays with Nevada, 12 to shoot. Tremendous defensive possession there, unfortunately, for the run Rebels. They couldn't come up with a loose ball. But the double, and then to get back in rotation to take away passing opportunities. Chief Alfred's team, 25 and 6. Lucas. Nice feed, Davidson up and under. A tremendous footwork on that catch. Rodriguez, big strong guard. Patrell dropped the pass. Justin Webster in the game for UNLV. Whaley back in as well, Lucas, uh-uh. And stays with Nevada. Get another look at that pass. Lucas to Davidson. The catch on the quick stop allows you to use either foot as a pivot foot. As he caught it, though, his eyes went up on the rim, bringing the defense up out of a stance, thinking they were going to contest his initial attempt. Those eyes going up sends the defense flying, creates an opportunity and angle for Davidson. Lucas, his first rest. Davidson, his offensive game has really come along. Foster driving. Davidson, that's a tough catch. That's a, that's a bullet pass from yes. five feet away. Absolutely was, Rich. There's not a lot of spacing there to deliver that pass, but Jared Lucas hasn't needed much space at all. He got hot in a hurry. Ten points in the first four minutes or so. He's doing what he does best, catch and shoot. Finding opportunities, quick trigger. And you brought it up. He's the guy on this team that has NCAA tournament experience and successful NCAA experience. With Oregon State, he got to the Elite Eight. So he's a guy they could lean on in games like this. It's been a much more mature year and a much more mature team for Nevada this year. Thomas draws another foul and he'll get to the line. Well, the other thing I think Lucas brings is the fact that he wants the ball in big situations where a lot of other players, quite frankly, will shy away from it. Many players will say they want that responsibility of big shots. Jared Lucas absolutely rises to that challenge. Thomas hits a couple. He'll get his first rest as he get closer to that under 12 whistle. A chance to give a starter a little extra blow. Caleb Boone is back in. Whaley checks out. Hot shooting to start for Nevada. Tyler Wallison, freshman point guard in the game right now, along with McIntosh in the backcourt. A defensive pressure from UNLV. First Rodriguez. Denying the pass and then Boolin, Boone, excuse me, pressuring the ball. Rollison spinning and he got in trouble. That's a walk. 
These, Dan, are two very underrated defensive teams. They're really, really good. The problem is most of the oxygen in terms of great defense is sucked away by San Diego State, which is kind of the benchmark. Yeah, San Diego State's been the benchmark defensively for so long, and quite frankly, a lot of teams try to emulate them on that end of the floor to be successful in this league, which is a big time compliment. I think when you look at these two teams, they're very physical. They've got good size and length. I think Nevada plays a little bit more in the gaps as Boone gets a nice finish, where UNLV will get out and pressure you to go and skit in the passing lanes a little bit more. Running Rebels have cut the lead down to seven. Davidson flashes. Driving. Caleb Boone with the rebound. It's a great matchup. Big guards Rodriguez and Blackshear have been shadowing each other the last three minutes. And Blackshear is tremendous size for a point guard. Foster with the reach and a foul. And a timeout. Lot on the line here, last regular season game in the Mountain West. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Kubota. Together we do more. By AT&T. We believe connecting changes everything. And by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. That was the first meeting. Nevada trailed the entire way until the final minute, and they came roaring back to get the win. Last game in the Mountain West before Las Vegas, 12 and 5, 12 and 5, Nevada and UNLV. Winner of this one ties with Boise State, but gets the two seed in the tournament, and the loser drops into the four seed in what's going to be just an incredible four days in Las Vegas in that tournament. Yeah, we get to be a part of the action. We'll be calling a couple of the quarterfinal games. Boise State as the three seed will be one of those games we call. And we will also get one of these two, depending on who falls into the two and who's at the four. Straight on, Keelan Boone with the bucket. And here comes UNLV. A nice little run to get back on their feet. They withstood the early 7-0 run from Nevada and the 10 points from Jared Lucas, which is what you would expect. This UNLV ball club has experience and maturity across this roster. The lead, biggest lead was 12, and now it's down to five. Rollison and McIntosh still in there. Blackshear missed, and Rollison returns. That's a three. That is a three from the young man from Los Angeles. They feel he's the point guard of the future. Eight assists now on eight made field goals for the Wolfpack. This is a really good passing team. Oh, they're a good passing team because they're well drilled with fundamentals, but they're also willing passers, which is a big thing. They like to make plays for teammates. That's a sweet jumper to Don Thomas. A lot of emotion in here. Senior night, they had a really nice and emotional ceremony. These seniors for Nevada all fitting together and having just an incredible run to get themselves tournament ready in Blackshear. That's where he creates so many problems. He's really good in the pick and roll, but he searches for the mid-range. Not much of a three-point shooter, so the analytic lovers don't necessarily flock to his game, but he is very good. Good passing by UNLV, and another three, and Keelan Boone, who's been enormous in this one. And remember, he didn't play early when UNLV had a couple of those quad four losses. Since he's been around, though, it's been a different story. Oh, he stretches the floor. I mean, you see there, he shoots it easily from beyond the three-point line. This UNLV team is very balanced. They can beat you with pick and roll play. They can beat you on a block with Caleb Boone. And then Keelan Boone can get hot, but they got to take care of that man right there. Keenan Blackshear, back-to-back -back buckets in the mid-range. 15 points a game, five assists a game, and a nightmare of a matchup for a point guard. He's big, strong, and a walk, and a turnover. 
If you're going to double and rotate, you got to understand where Keelan Boone is, or he will make you pay. On the other end, Keenan Blackshear, a power point guard in the mid range. That's the UNLV bench know. In this run by Nevada, just some incredible wins on the road at number 22 Utah State, at UNLV, at Colorado State, at Boise State, at home against top 25 San Diego State. Back here again. Reminds me a little bit of Hunter Maldonado at Wyoming over the last few years, just because he's a bigger point guard who likes to back you down as well, but such a tough player. A rebounding foul on Caleb Boone as Davidson went down. Get another look. Keelan Boone shifted early, trying to beat him over the top of the pick and roll. Blackshear reads it, attacks the other way. Rodriguez delivering a physical blow to the backpedaling Lucas. I like how the officials are letting them play tonight, as it should be. Rivalry game. It's been a common uh, theme throughout the Mountain West. This is a very yes. rugged and physical league. I've heard it called the Big Ten light, and there's a lot of truth to that, how physical the teams play. Holding back Ian Thomas. See if they give him some help. Cutter, kick, that's a 23-footer. Well, you can't give him that much time and space. Give him a rhythm dribble, the ability to line it up. He's going to make you pay. Jared Lucas, one of the hottest shooters in the conference right now. And he is showing it tonight. Showing it tonight. You are correct. 13 points early. Don't let him get hot. They did. Now you got to try to slow him down. Watching Bracket Week, presented by Kubota. Full house, and of course it is here in Nevada. They got it rolling again with the Wolfpack. Steve Alford's best team you would expect. 25 and 6, the conference record. Win this game. They're the two seed in the tournament. Jerry Palm's got them as a six seed. Bad loss, Wyoming. Wyoming will do that every now and then. And I don't think I would like to play Wyoming, by the way, in the tournament in Las Vegas. That's Linder very creative. Three-point shooting, especially the last five games, Dan, and that kind of coincides with the six-game win streak. Yeah, Steve Alford told us they struggled to shoot the ball in non-conference. They gradually got better, and you saw the numbers there. Lately, they've been really good. Hunter McIntosh and Jared Lucas has kept that up tonight, obviously. Keelan Boone has been the guy for UNLV. He misses on that three. Ball out of bounds. UNLV's got it. That is a perfect example of what Luis Rodriguez brings to the game. Extra effort. Tries to get his hands in there to get a loose ball, or excuse me, a jump ball. Doesn't come away with it, but then he quickly moves on to the next play. Creates a problem, an opportunity. Gets the deflection. UNLV ball on the baseline. Keelan Boone's got 10. Two of them threes. This is Keelan again, and he's fouled, and he scores. And a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Really good finish through contact. Davidson's there. He's not vertical, leaning over a little bit, which is why the whistle was blown. Yeah, Boone didn't realize the, the shot went in. <laughs> he was asking for two free throws. That's rare. Those players, you know when you make a shot or not. Rodriguez fouls trying to get that rebound. Well, I spoke to it on the last possession. He doesn't quit. He doesn't give up on plays. Many times, he'll get you that extra opportunity. But on occasion, it will also result in a foul 
94 feet from the basket. Congratulations to Utah State, regular season champs. And it feels like in this conference, for the last two months, it was hard to tell who the best team was. There were so many good ones. Steve Alford said, hey, look, in this league, you've got to bring your A game against the A teams. And I asked him, well, who are the A teams? He goes, well, there's a lot of them. And, and UNLV is now one of them. So that's seven teams in the A team, bring your A game category. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you look at just in the top 40 of the net, there are six teams. The only other leagues that can claim that, the Big 12 and the SEC, UNLV sits at 75. They had a couple bad losses in the quad four, three of them actually. Otherwise, they would probably be in that same conversation. Look at Thomas. He gets inside, he's 6-1, and he still scores. Yeah, he's creative and he's crafty and changes speed and direction so well. You add the fact that he's left-handed, and that's a curveball to many defenders. Lucas against Thomas, getting in the lane, tries to deliver. Cottrell with the steal. Webster's finally healthy and back playing for UNLV. And Dudon Thomas at the controls. That's a moving screen. And an easy call for Randy McCall. CBS Sports celebrates Women's History Month recognizing the outstanding contributions women have made on and off the field of play. Interesting spot here for UNLV. Keelan Boone right now is doing the most damage. He's got 12 and he's got two fouls. Lucas. He's so hot that when he misses, it's a big surprise. Black shoes in tight. Nice pass. Davidson! What a pass there from Keenan Blackshear. Not just to see it, but to deliver it. Webster. Rodriguez, offensive yes. rebound, put back. That's what he does. That's who he is. Luis Rodriguez. And keep an eye on Dedon Thomas on that last penetration. Took a pretty good shot. He came up limping, holding his right hip. He's battling a much bigger guard in the, in the low blocks. Skip pass. McIntosh. Good find. Davidson rotates. Lucas shot fake. That's maybe one too many passes. Absolutely. You beat me to that comment, Rich. I thought Davidson had an easy look at the three-point line, which he's capable of. You see the previous possession, the extra pass results in an easy two, but for Nevada right now, you've got to match Luis Rodriguez's effort on that offensive glass, which is someplace in the first matchup, Nevada was tremendous. Won the battle of the boards by 21. Had 13 offensive rebounds that night. The one thing they didn't do is take care of the ball. They turned it over 17 times. Nevada's biggest lead in this one, 12. UNLV has come back twice. Webster kicks. Rodriguez barges in. It's a block. I mean, a real popular call here, <laughs> the biggest little city. Uh, it's definitely not a popular call. It's the right call from the official, though. Lucas was not there. He was still moving, although Rodriguez did deliver quite a bit of contact. And Kevin Kruger over on the sideline pleading his case that Rodriguez was in the act of shooting. 16th out for Nevada, UNLV has just four. Rob Whaley back in. Thomas, quick release, short on the three. Rebound. 
And a whistle and a foul. Shane Noel got into it. That's his second personal team at seven. McIntosh with his second personal. It's good to see Noel getting active when he gets in. Only 14th game he's appeared in this year. Started his career at Arizona after playing at Eastside Catholic in the Seattle area, but they had high hopes for him this year. He had a bad ankle sprain in the summer, so he missed most of the time, and then he's re-injured it in the fall, so he's been playing catch-up throughout the season, but they really like what he brings to the table when healthy. If you're just joining us, UNLV and Nevada are two of the, if not the two, hottest teams in the Mountain West. Nine of ten for Nevada, ten of eleven for UNLV. And big time wins for both of them in these streaks. Utah State has clinched the regular season tonight. And a Darius Brown three, who has hit a season full of big threes for the Aggies. Congratulations to them. Winner of this game gets the two seed in the tournament. Loser gets the four. Nevada, quick starts. Fueled by three pointers. And Jared Lucas and Davidson misses the layup. But a foul and free throws coming. This kid is physical. Every cut off the ball, every attempt to go down and set a screen, you're getting knocked off your line. You know, there was going into today, there was a ton of combinations in terms of who would be where in the seedings depending on who won and who lost. We were issued a large document from the Mountain West. It's like almost a book, it seems. And so we needed translation, so we turned to the source, right? Lori Navarez is here. She helped sort it out. And I think we've got it. Boise State will be the three seed. Utah State, the one seed. The winner of this game, the two seed. The loser is the four seed. And coming into tonight, there was about 13, 14 different scenarios that we kind of ran through a shoe round. I'm glad to know that we've settled in all of them except for who the two and who of the four is, but it shows you just how competitive this league is, the fact that so much of the seeding goes down to the final night in this conference play. I don't know in those quarterfinal games, Dan, if there's going to be many clear-cut favorites. I think it's going to be just a tight matchup in all four games. I would agree. You, you mentioned Wyoming. You know, they obviously haven't won a ton of games this year, but Jeff Linder is as creative as they get. He might pull out a box in one or a triangle in two, which he's done on occasion this year. Jackie Johnson Jr. This is Noel. It's a three. And the Rebels miss again. Three and a half minutes left first half. Not the best shot there from Shane Noel. Your strength isn't necessarily beyond the three-point arc. I understand excited getting into the game. You want to make something happen, but that's not the way to do it. Blackshear. Physical. Webster driving. Coleman. Jeez. Nevada has two of the best defensive guards in the conference in Keenan Blackshear and Trey Coleman. And Coleman just hunted this one down. He's showing you why he may be the defensive player of the year. We'll find out in the next few days. Impressive block there. One of the greatest of all back home tonight, Jabail Mc McGee, three-time NBA champion, Olympic gold medalist, was here in 2006, 2008. And not that this crowd needed anything more to get excited about, but he's here tonight. There you go, those teams. Western Athletic Conference champions. That was a really good run in that time. And of course, the Eric Musselman Run for Nevada with the Martin Twins, Jordan Caroline, three NCAA tournaments. And the Wolfpack trying to get back to the NCAA tournament after last year. Daniel Foster 
who is a very underrated member of this team. Blue guy does all the little things. He's one of their best on ball defenders. Had a big, big contribution in that Boise State win. One of the things in the world of college basketball now with the transfer portal and player movement is the ability to keep continuity in your roster year over year. You need guys like Daniel Foster. Back to double digits, the lead for Nevada. Whaley backs in. Falling away and he hits it. Tough shot there. Robert Whaley Jr. And he's been really good Mountain West play. A shade over 10 points per game. Just provides such a physical low post option on the block. Lucas fighting to get free. Jackie Johnson Jr. is on him. He's strong and he's fouling him. Well, he clearly fouled him up top, but I thought Lucas may have gotten away with a travel upon the catch. Kind of bobbled the catch, and then while he was doing that, shuffled his pivot foot. Wasn't called by the official. So after Johnson gets too aggressive, he'll be at the line for two. Lucas, who has attempted a ton of free throws this year, he's almost at 170. He's a 90% free throw shooter. AT&T at the half. Brent Stover, point guard. Wally Zerbiak, shooter. Chris Walker, glue guy. Seth Davis off the bench. You know, if Chris is listening, I would say power point guard, not glue guy. Okay. I'm sure I'll get a text message from him later tonight. But, yeah, Wally Zerbiak, clearly the sniper. I saw that up close in the NCAA tournament in 99. I was with Washington Huskies. He had 44 against us in the first round in New Orleans at the Superdome. Unbelievable shooting performance. Were you guarding him that night? I was out with injury, thankfully. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have had 54. <laughs> you were safe. You yes. would have much more success your next two years at Gonzaga. And that I did. This is a, a, a crucial two-minute stretch here in this game. Can Nevada keep the double-digit cushion? Can UNLV cut into it like they did midway through the half? Well, when you look at it, I mean, Nevada's shooting over 60% from the field, but they've turned it over seven times. For UNLV, you just got to get some stops and, and trust what you're doing on the offensive end. You're shooting a shade under 45% from the field yourself, so it's, it's just a matter of getting stops and understanding when that happens, you're going to climb right back in the game. Lucas, clear space, missed the shot. Chance for UNLV to cut into it. Whaley backing in, again falling away, and he's hit another. Almost identical shots, fading away to the middle, but Nevada choosing not to double down on either possession when Whaley gets it on the low block. Eight-point game headed towards halftime. A minute left. Rivalry UNLV in Nevada. The net is a metric that is used by the NCAA selection committee. It mirrors that. It's not totally the entire criteria, but it's a big chunk of it. The Mountain West is in a great spot. Nevada's 34, a six seed. Boise State's in there. UNLV's got a ways to go. Now, 40 is the magic number. Since 2019, when they've been using the net, 96% of the teams that have a 40 or better net rating have been to the NCAA tournament. So you get in the 30s, you're in a great spot. A small lineup out there for UNLV. Thomas three. Uh-uh. Blackshear the rebound. I 
Hawks here barely avoided a 10 second count. Get the ball into the front court. Lucas, shot clock down. Down to two. Davidson falling away. Uh, and the rebound, UNLV should get the last shot here. And they take an early three. Webster had plenty of time. And the running Rebels forced one when they had a shot at a better look. And the Wolfpack satisfied to go in at half with an eight point lead. They're really good when they have a lead, as you just saw. That's the end of the first half. Eight point lead for Nevada. Headed to New York right after these messages. And of course, you're watching Bracket Week. Presented by Kubota. You are watching Bracket Week presented by Kubota. Reno, Nevada, last game of the regular season in the Mountain West. And a lot on the line. Rich Waltz along with Dan Dickow. Nevada set the tone in this rivalry game, Dan, and they did it early with Jared Lucas. They did. Jared Lucas got hot. 12 points. Literally in the first six minutes or so, UNLV didn't find him quick enough. And when they did, it didn't matter because everything that he put up was going in in that first stretch. Ended up with 15 in that first half. Cooled off a little bit down the stretch. But for UNLV, they need more Keelan Boone. He was really good the first half with 12 points. But UNLV has got to feel good with where they're at considering they've been out-rebounded. And Keelan's brother, Caleb, has been in foul trouble and has zero points. Yeah, Keelan played just 13 minutes in that first half. Chase brings you the first half numbers. The rebounding advantage for Nevada in the first meeting, which Nevada won narrowly, was huge, and it's emerging again. And that's enormous for UNLV. Their last five games, they've averaged a plus 13 rebound margin against their opponent tonight they're down eight on the glass if you're a running rebel fan you got to figure if we can rebound better and get caleb boone going a little bit on the interior we're going to climb back into this hurry in a hurry for nevada you're shooting over 55 percent from the field 10 assists on 13 made field goals Let's keep with the process they're 23 and 0 when they've led at the half first touch second half nevada you know, these starts in a little 1 3 1. A look, we haven't seen yet this evening. Times little jump hook. And Thomas has the rebound for UNLV. Biggest lead in that first half was 12. This is Caleb spinning, scoring. Nice drop step. Let's see if UNLV can make a, a run here early in the second. Davidson was coming to double team. Himes let him spin away from the double to the baseline. Can't do that. Force him to the double and then seal the double team off. Thomas trying to trail Lucas across the street. Blackshear. That's Keelan Boone who's got those two fouls. Shot clock's down. Davidson's up. Rebound. Kept his balance. A couple of UNLV players asking for a travel there, but the balance and footwork for Davidson pays off. Davidson now with seven rebounds to go with those eight points. Caleb Bowie. That shot's blocked. Back here. Not a lot of transition buckets. No, no foul on that. UNLV dodged the bullet there. That would have been. Caleb Boone's third. Davidson closing in on a double double. Early second half. Lucas demanding the ball right now. He's got Rodriguez on, a good defender. He's got to be a tough player to officiate because he initiates a lot of the contact. 
It's a late clock three. UNLV is calling for a hook and hold, but the foul is on Nevada. Let's take a look. Close for both guys hooking and holding, right? I mean, it looked like an early hook and hold from Davidson, and then Boone followed with his own version. That looked like two big guys just going after a rebound. I don't know if either one deserved a foul call there. Lucas. Terrific screen from Himes on the baseline out of bounds, freeing up Lucas. Rodriguez catches Lucas's foot on the contest. Take another look. Lucas kind of kicked his leg out there a little bit. That's been deemed a no-no by the rules committee. Got away with it that time at the line for a three-point play. Last six games, and that coincides with the win streak. 20 points a game. Leads back to 10. Thomas. Thomas has been going against some big and very good defensive guards in this one. Patrell, a three. He's a 34% three point shooter, but he misses there. Kevin Kruger now has his talented big Caleb Boone on the bench with three personal fouls. Actually, check that. We thought initially it was Caleb on the foul. It's Rodriguez who picked up his third, and he just actually checked out of the game. He has been extremely active, creating second chance opportunities being the first to lose balls as well. And Caleb Boone does have three as well. So that's been confirmed. So it must have been the possession before for Caleb, the last possession for Luis Rodriguez. All right, the Boone brothers are Reese's player profile. They are natives of Tulsa, so they like the Thunder. Kevin Durant, Michael Jordan and Kevin Durant for Keelan. Nachos for Keelan. A cheeseburger for Caleb. NBA 2K. Call of Duty. They have made a huge impact at UNLV. I do like the fact that favorite player of all time up there, Michael Jordan. That shows a little bit of reverence for the history of the game. Defense has been outstanding. UNLV, after that initial push to get close, has been down double digits. Exactly right. They haven't been able to get out in transition. Zero transition points tonight for UNLV. Wow. How does he do that? I mean, he's 6'1. Davidson trailing him is 6'9, and he got by him and then got up and under him. He's got a great finish package again we talked about the change of speed change of direction but as a as a smaller guard to finish you've got to have a variety of finishes same leg same foot opposite foot one leg two foot release points Let's get another look at it here sneaks to the other side of the rim and puts the english off the glass for it to drop in and davidson had a look on his face like what else can i do that was great camera work 11 points for Thomas. Lucas again! Same baseline out of bounds action they ran a minute ago. Disguised it a little bit differently, but you got to know that Lucas is getting screens in that situation. He's also getting 19 points. Rayleigh oh! had four hands on it. Somehow got it back. Back here. And a save by Coleman. What a pass! Oscar. Had it briefly and then lost it, and Nevada's going to keep it. This time it's Davidson setting the screen as the last time it was Himes, but 
you got to appreciate the way that Jared Lucas sets himself up to be open coming off those screens. Changing speeds, changing directions is important for a point guard with the ball in their hands, but for a shooter, it's even more important to create space for catch and shoot opportunities. I would guess as a shooter like Lucas, Steve Alford is a perfect coach to play for. He's a very good coach to play for someone with that skill set. Steve was one of the best shooters in college basketball history. And you can see the confidence that he has in Lucas and the type of offensive sets that they run and the freedom that he gives him to read and react to screening situations. Keelan Boone drains the three. And Lucas fouled trying to free himself from Shane Noel. UNLV trying to crawl back in it. Keelan Boone is doing his parts. He's got 15. But the Rudder Rebels are running behind. Ten point lead for the Wolf Pack. Final game regular season the Mountain West. That means Las Vegas. That means Mountain West Tournament. Starts on Thursday on CBS Sports Network. Quarterfinals. If Nevada wins, here are the brackets. Utah State has clinched the regular season and the number one seed. They'll get the winner of Wyoming, Fresno State. UNLV, if Nevada wins, would face San Diego State. And then Nevada would be the two seed. They get the winner of Colorado State, San Jose State, Boise. The three seed would get New Mexico or Air Force. And we'll have all four of the quarterfinals on CBS Sports Network and the semifinals Friday night. And the championship game will be on CBS on Saturday. That is a steal. Noel takes it. Of course, if UNLV comes back and wins it, they'll be the two seed, and Nevada will be the four seed. Regardless, there's going to be some great games down in Las Vegas. I don't know that the seeds mean a whole lot yeah. with these top seven teams. Thomas stepped back, jumper on the way. Uh -uh. Wayne, oh. that's blocked. Coleman, big time block from Coleman, second block of the night. First one was equally impressive, a chase down block in transition. Good hands by Noel. He's had a couple of nice steals. Look at Thomas leaping over. Head up at all times, constantly probing to see if defense makes a mistake. But Nevada's been unbelievably good in defensive transition. Boone gets by, or rather, Thomas gets by, and with the right hand, Soft little flip and another bucket inside. Well, he had the spin finish with the left a couple possessions ago that time. Shows you again the creativity that he has. And look at UNLV now within five. This is as close as the Rebels have been for a long time. Davidson forced it. Foster caught it. He gets it up and in. Great finish from Foster. Cottrell stands about 6'11". I didn't think there was any daylight there for Foster to get it off cleanly, let alone finish it. Keelan Boone. He has been something tonight. 18 now. That's his fourth three. And UNLV's got to keep the ball in Thomas and Keelan Boone's hands. Everyone else has struggled tonight other than those two. Coleman, Lucas pops out. Blackshear, and he got hit in the eye. Noel got him. Third foul on Shea Noel. Well, 
Looks like Noel poked him in the eye. Accidental contact, just a defender trying to have active hands. You go tell him it was incidental. <laughs> exactly right. That doesn't feel good regardless if it was incidental or on purpose. <laughs> incidental, my eye. Yeah, exactly. Let's hope he's okay. It looks like he is. But he's out for the moment. McIntosh back in. Along with Coleman and Lucas in the backcourt. Lucas finds Himes. Doubled. And fouled. A really good initial double team from UNLV on Himes. You can hold the double team without fouling. But it shows you a little bit of the philosophy of Kevin Kruger. Himes is not a scoring threat when he catches the ball in the low block. A lot of times, People think you double only against scores. Sometimes you double to create turnover opportunities from somebody you don't trust as a decision maker. Offensive foul. Himes barrels over Caleb Boone. And there's the decision making I alluded to there. KJ Himes, you can't just run through the defender who's in front of you. You got to have some awareness of. Facial recognition on the floor and everyone else. Good call from the official. So the running Rebels now, who've been down almost this entire game, have reeled it back in to four. Lucas fouling Rodriguez on the wing. UNLV has not led in this game. And there's still a lot of time. You know, the other thing about this game, obviously, Utah State with a, another Darius Brown late three clinches the regular season championship. But there's a lot at stake, not just for seeding in the Mountain West, but also NCAA tournament hopes for UNLV and seeding for Nevada. You're exactly right. I know. The metric of the of the net is used as a basis. There are other things that are considered. And if you have to think that if UNLV were to be able to win tonight, the fact that they've won 11 of their last 12. Now, I know they say they don't always look at how you finish the season. But competed for a league title up until the final day of the season, that has to count for something. And two of the bad losses, the uh, quad four losses were without Keelan Boone. That's considered as well availability of a coach or a player. How much? Not sure. But, you know, the other thing is they're going to get two, maybe three more chances at quad one wins. Well, if they get the third one and they beat, they're in the, they're in the tournament. That's the championship game. But they have at least, you know, if they win that first game, that's two opportunities to pick up more quad one wins. And this would be a quad one win if UNLV wins it. Good adjustment from UNLV. Goes zone there. Nevada got stagnant offensively, which is what happens a lot of times when you're not expecting a zone. Keelan Boone. And the Rebels have their first lead of the game. Wow. This has been an uphill slog for Kevin Kruger and UNLV. A Keelan Boone with a three. And the Running Rebels are all the way back. And up by one. They chipped away. Now they're up on UNLV. And they've done it. You saw the Keelan Boone three, but Deion Thomas has been a key in this run, too. He's really put the pressure on the Nevada backcourt to keep him in front. He's found creative and crafty ways on the interior to score, either with the right or with the left. He's been really good, 13 points. He and Keelan Boone have combined 13 of 23 from the field. The rest of the running Rebels, 5 of 19, you got to feel if you're a running Rebel fan, if you can get one more player to start pitching in, you got to like your chances on the flip side for Nevada. Keep getting Jared Lucas open. He has been a problem 
for the running Rebel defense tonight. Foster open, turns down the shot. Lucas, 19 points. Good fake, Coleman. Patrol was in the circle, or if he wasn't set before the plant leg. Well, we're going to look at it when we get back. Timeouts. UNLV by a point, 11 and a half left. You're watching Bracket Week, presented by Kubota. This is turning into some game. Nevada comfortable lead most of the way. UNLV up a point now. Tomorrow, two Eastern Conference Tournament Basketball. Patriot League semifinals. Bucknell head-to-head -head against the top seed, Colgate, Lehigh, and Boston University. Road to the Final Four continues on CBS Sports Network. And there's your Patriot League men's tournament. All right, plant leg engaged is when it starts. Whoa, wow. I, he was outside the circle. That, that's a, it's a tough call for an official, Dan, but I think this about as close as it gets. I, I'm thankful I'm not an official. Yes, I think that's a tough call. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the one thing I would say is, Cottrell, you're a 6'11". Challenge at the rim. Very rarely do 6'11", 7-footers get a charge call when they slide over and try to get in front. Challenge at the rim. I think that's fair. Me, on the other hand, I would have just gotten out of the way. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Time and place to take a charge, not when someone's barreling down the middle. So Nevada by a point now. Caleb Boone begging for the ball. In the low post. This is Keelan. Thomas. Rodriguez. Difficult shot. Tip doesn't go. Man, look at Boone and he's fouled. That's Keelan. That's a quick second jump to grab the offensive rebound. And I think Kevin Kruger had a message to his running Rebels that, fellas, if we want to win this game, we've got to get active on the glass. The last. A couple minutes, they have been engaged on the defensive end, and particularly the offensive end of the glass. A lot of time left here. It is the last regular season game in the Mountain West. Thomas. Clock was reset to 20. Caleb kicks. Wants it back against Davidson. Spinning. Doubled. They try it loose. And Davidson saves it. Great double from Foster there. Shield. That's where he is so dangerous. Point guard, 6'6", with the size, the speed that he has. Brought this crowd back to life. Puts Nevada up three. Caleb Boone, uh-uh, wanted the foul. So did Kevin Kruger. Blackshear kicks, Davidson's three. Way off. Now there's bodies hitting the deck and colliding. A great job from Foster to quickly double down, knock it loose, igniting a Wolfpack fast break where Blackshear is able to convert. UNLV 5 of 15 from distance. Halfway point, second half. Shot clock down. Rodriguez, Keelan Boone clears himself. Jumper. Uh -uh. Oh! Caleb, his brother, cleans it up and wow. finishes strong. Came out of nowhere. One point game. Blackshear against Rodriguez. Gets in. Rollison. Straight on. The 
it's a two. This is Whaley spinning, kicking. Keelan, boom! It's short. Whaley, offensive rebound. Keelan again. That one's well short again. Caleb, offensive rebound, and he's fouled by Rawlison. And suddenly, UNLV, as you pointed out, has reversed the trend on the boards. They have been active on the glass. None more than Caleb Boone from nowhere to the front of the rim. Thank you very much. Holy cow. He well, just put that on a loop. Had about four great looks at it. Their camera operators. Jeez. Caleb. Forces. And he's fouled. No, he traveled. bench trying to keep their composure a terrific call from the baseline official Caleb Boone probably more interested in trying to create contact there as opposed to create an angle got himself off balance a little ballerina footwork resulting in a travel Gerald Lucas smiling again right now but Rawlison is the back buckets for the freshman from L.A. That was a difficult left-hand runner. Blackshear! And a hell ball is going to go UNLV's way. Timeout. Nevada's back on top. you got to have unexpected performances off the bench. Rollison, a big time lefty runner. Nevada looking good again. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Chase. Make more of what's yours. In Reno, five point game, eight minutes left. Dan Dickow put pen to paper in his Mountain West Awards. He's got Danny Sprinkle, Coach of the Year. Yep, that's an easy one in my book. Great. Uh, yeah, great Osibor. Osibor with 21 points, 12 rebounds in a championship clinching game tonight. He sealed the deal, not only for the title, but in the Player of the Year category with that performance. Trey Coleman, Defensive Player of the Year, he showed it on a number of possessions tonight. Omar Stanley. Newcomer of the year for Boise State from St. John's has been spectacular. The block he had on Jaden Ledee in overtime last night, one of the best blocks you'll see in college basketball. And that man right there, my pick for freshman of the year in this conference, he has an unbelievably bright future in Las Vegas. His hometown, where he should be a senior at Liberty High School. Raley's driving, and he's fouled before the shot. Nevada led for the entirety of this game till about five minutes ago when UNLV on a run briefly took the lead. Nevada has broken back on top and leads by five at stake here, the two seed in the Mountain West tournament. Invaluable resume building points or quad one win if you're UNLV, protecting home court and avoiding a quad three loss if you are Nevada. Thomas. Thomas shot clock down. Step back three. Missed everything. Thomas felt he was fouled. Ah, the final force coming up. And we always love the Reese's College All-Star game. Tune in. It's presented by Walmart's April 5th, 630 Eastern, right here on CBS Sports Network. It sounded as if I was eating a Reese's during that. <laughs> Reed, 722 left. 
Lucas is back in. He shot them in the lead early in that first half. He's got 19 points in the ball game. Six of 12 for the field. Flashing his black shirt. Offensive rebound, Coleman. Lucas! Well, Coleman is my defensive player of the year, but he does so many things other than just guard the opponent's best criminal player. Extra opportunity there leads to a big time Lucas three. The awareness to find the open Lucas. Nevada really good on their home court. 15 and 2 on the season. There are only two losses here to New Mexico by one and to Boise State by eight. Seven zero run snapped there by the Thomas free throw. Under seven minutes left. Blackshear, Lucas, Foster, Coleman. Nick Davidson for Nevada. Novell's back in. Whaley in there. Rodriguez. Tucker on the way. And Blackshear. A miscommunication on the switch. And then the get back between Whaley and Noel. Can't leave the basketball. Whaley pulls his way through. Foster pokes it loose. Lucas driving and scoring. Point lead for Nevada. Defense leads to offense. That's the second time in the last four minutes or so that Foster has doubled down and knocked the ball loose, leading to a terrific hesitate and attack from Jared Lucas. Lucas with 24. And Nevada's back up by double digits. Whaley kicks. Three on the way. Arenas missed it. Coleman, the ultimate blue guy. He does everything well. Rebounds, defends. Makes all the little plays. Blackshear against Whaley. Balance. And he's fouled. And he's down. And Blackshear, that left arm, it appears. See if it was when he landed. Uh, he immediately grabbed that left shoulder. He's up now. And it looks like he's going to stay in the game. Still trying to get that feeling back in the fingers. Kick 
Kenyon Blackshirt comes from a basketball family. His mom and dad were college basketball players at Stetson. His mom's in the Hall of Fame. Wow. His brother, Kerry, was a terrific player in the ACC at Virginia Tech. I believe he's got a sister that's uh, playing college ball as well. A lot of times when you come from an athletic family, you can see different traits in players, and you can see the competitiveness that he has. Thomas. It's just that little hesitation, and then that, you know, his plant foot, and he kind of jumped sideways, and both bigs blew right by him. Well, it starts with the setup of the double high pick and roll up top. Shifts the defender just enough where the defender tries to beat him over the top of the screen. Body starts going one way, Thomas goes the other. So now he's got an advantage in attacking the rim and getting in the paint. What's at stake tonight for the Runner Rebels? They win, they're a two seed, they lose, they're a four seed. Nevada, they're a two seed if they win. And if they lose, they're a four seed. I think you want to avoid San Diego State, even though they've lost two in a row. They're not going to be real happy. And they usually <laughs> play really well in Las Vegas in that tournament. Every year that I've covered the Mountain West tournament in some way, shape, or form, many of those years have been with you, Rich. San Diego State's been in the title game. It's almost like you pencil it in at the start of the year. There's a lot more. Rebounding foul, Keelan Boone. Well, there's a lot more San Diego State like teams yes. in the Mountain West this year. Teams that can defend, these two can really defend. Those, these two teams can really defend as a lot of other teams in the league like you alluded to. The, the thing that makes me think that there are multiple teams in this league that can win a game in the NCAA tournament, or maybe two, is the fact that they defend so well and then they have experience, in particular in your scoring players. You know, you look at uh, your scoring players and also your point guards. There's some really good point guards in this league as well. Yeah, you see the, the seeds from Jerry Palm. Last four in with New Mexico. We played a whale of a game, by the way, tonight. Without Jamal Mashburn, who was sick. And lost on that late three at Utah State. Lead 12, Thomas spinning. Whaley against Davidson. Davidson, and Whaley gets fouled, missed the shot, rebound, put that, that one. Grateful he was able to corral the miss and finish, because he missed it point blank range. Back to a 10 point game, approaching four minutes left. This is where Nevada, with their experience, they understand you don't have to play fast here. You don't have to necessarily go up against the shot clock going off, but don't be in a hurry. Lucas. That's his time. Late clock missed it. The other thing that's at stake here for these two teams, who gets to keep their streak going and keep that momentum into the Mountain West tournament? Nevada's won six straight. Nine of ten. Corner three is off. Tipped all the way into the backboard. Nevada ball. UNLV, though, not giving up. Coming right at you. Ten-point game. Wolfpack. Nevada withstood the run by UNLV. Runner Rebels were on top briefly. And then Jared Lucas shifted into gear. And the night started with the senior nights. In a flurry of threes to take an early lead. And here in the second half, he just keeps on keeping on. 24 points, 8 of 15 from the field.
First possession of the game hits a deep three. Sent a message right away to this crowd that he was ready to go. And he hasn't let up since then. He went to the Elite Eight with Oregon State. Got to the first four last year with Nevada. And Jerry Palm has him as a sixth seed. Blackshear. Offensive foul. Steve Alf <laughs> reacting. Shane Noel has played really well in this last stretch that he's gotten into the game. Defensively, he's created some issues there. Red and timed perfectly Blackshear's drive. Rebels need to run. Thomas. Oh, man. <laughs> he just finds a way to get buckets. His assists are down over the last six or seven games, but his points are up. He's becoming a scorer. Obviously, Great day and night of college basketball. And we're headed back to New York. Bracket Week presented by Kubota inside college basketball. And Stover and the gang waiting. Two big ones in the Mountain West. That thriller in Logan. Jerry Palm will sleep in May. Because every night he's doing his brackets. Last four in. I don't think New Mexico hurt themselves tonight on the road playing nose to nose down to the wire. Colorado Seton Hall St. John's last four outs. Utah, Iowa, Villanova came from behind but just fell short today. And the fighting Matt Plundos of Pitt, 43 in the net rank. I mean, in regards to, to New Mexico, they've had a little bit of a slide late in the year, but their net's really good at 27. If you look at historic numbers, if you're at 27, you're in the tournament. The biggest snub ever to not get in was North Carolina State in 2019, the first year of the net when they were 33. If you're New Mexico, you just got to go with, win at least one game, I think, in the Mountain West Tournament to take a little pressure off you. Lucas falling away, free throws. Along those lines, if you're UNLV and say you're your net ends up in the low 70s or the high 60s. You could still make the tournament if you're winning a few more games. Say they win two games and get to the championship game. The lowest net to ever make the NCAA since they started using the net in 2019 was Rutgers at 77. St. John's was a 73. Wichita State a 72. Michigan State a 70. There's a, a really good Note there, highest to miss NC State, lowest to make. And this is where I think, you know, the analytical tools are great and all, but you also got to watch the games and see that this UNLV team is really good. I think they would have a chance to win a game in the NC tournament if they were to make it. Keelan Boone misses the three. Got to get a stop here. You don't have to think foul just yet if you're UNLV. Lucas. Still a 10-point lead, under two minutes left. We've seen some crazy finishes in the Mount West. The runner Rebels got to hit a shot on this possession. And they do. Deedon Thomas, a three. Almost as if on cue, you mentioned some wild and crazy finishes. We had one tonight when Utah State sealed the deal in Logan. The craziest of all, though, was Wyoming down 11 with under a minute left to go. They ended up winning in overtime. Yes, they did. They, they actually rebounded two intentionally missed free throws and hit a three and made some huge. That was a Colorado State collapse in the rivalry game. Davidson backing, spinning, backing. This game job. has come a long way. 
Oh, tremendous patience there. UNLV didn't send a double. Gathered his rhythm dribble. Thomas the miss, Nevada the rebound. Thomas the foul. Under a minute left, nine point Nevada lead. And this crowd that came to celebrate this season. Many on their feet right now. They won't win a championship in the regular season. This is definitely a team that could win the tournament in Las Vegas and win games in the dance. They lost in the first four season ago. They struggled down the stretch of Mountain West play. But this is a different Nevada team. I think they've got more shooting and firepower, especially in when McIntosh plays well, Davidson's clearly improved. Blackshear and Lucas have been driven by that first round, first four exit. And McIntosh, his arrival and emergence adds another deep shooting threat along with Lucas. Thomas carrying that ball towards the cup and he gets to the line and shoots two. Somewhere, someone's got a Werner ladder <laughs> in, the, in the bowels of Lawler waiting to emerge. To, well, no, you know what? I, I, I strike that because there was talk of what if Utah State lost? Would you cut down nets? And it was, yeah, we're cutting down nets, but no nets here. The Werner ladder travels to Vegas and Nevada hopes to cut him down there. Davidson and a rebound foul. Rodriguez is fouled out. We'll see him next Thursday. And Nevada's got a 10 point lead. We'll finish as the two seed. Davidson, six double doubles on the season. This is his seventh. 11 points, 10 rebounds. in this one. He's got 24. Deidon Thomas has got 23. Eight point game, 33 seconds left. I don't know. I mean, look, I know Utah State is the one seed. I mean, take your pick from seven teams that can win that tournament. They've all got incredible strengths and they play to those strengths extremely well, but the other thing is they each have weaknesses that if the other team and their coaching staff can really kind of pick and choose how to best bring that to the forefront in their scouting report and get their players to understand, you can exploit those. And so I think with the fact that there's so many good coaches in this league, this Mountain West tournament is going to be fascinating. Thomas launches, misses the three. And Nevada can just hold on. A rivalry win. No share of the championship, but the streak continues. 10 of the last 11, seven straight. Wolfpack 26 and six, 13 and five, and all kinds of momentum headed to the Mountain West tournament in Las Vegas.
hard fought game. 10 point win. Final game of the Mountain West regular season. These are the standings. Utah State's got the regular season title with a late three pointer tonight against New Mexico. Here now the bracket for the tournament. Wyoming and Fresno State, Colorado State, San Jose State, New Mexico Air Force will start it in the first round. Waiting for them, Utah State, the one seed. Thank you for your support. Jared Lucas in Nevada. Terrific night on to Las Vegas. For Dan Dickow, our entire crew, this is a presentation of CBS Sports Network, 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Back to the studio for an update. All the highlights, a great day of college basketball. Right after the break, 75-65 the final, Wolfpack. <laughs>